Today we're going to look at something called number patterns. And now when we deal with number patterns, we're going to be asked to find the next set of numbers in a series of numbers. And to do that, we're going to use one of the operations of math. It's either going to be addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. Before we get on to the real number patterns, let's look up here at some shapes that also make a pattern. Now we see we have this blue square, a red triangle, green circle, and then it comes around again into a blue square. Now let's say I want to draw the next two shapes in the series. What I'm going to do is just look at the pattern before and try to guess what the next two will be based on what has been given to me. Well, I've got blue, red, green, and then it goes back to blue. Now if I look here, I know a red triangle came after the blue square. So if this pattern is repeating itself, the next shape is going to have to be this red triangle again. And now if I want to know what the next shape is, I'll go back, blue, red, green, blue, red. Well, the first thing that comes to mind is it's time for the green circle again. And if I wanted to do one more, I'd revert back, blue, red, green, blue, red, green. Well, if you haven't guessed already, the next shape must be the blue square again. So now I was able to find the next three shapes in this pattern by looking back at the pattern, coming up with an idea of what the pattern actually was. Now, moving on to an actual number pattern, we see that we're given 64, 32, 16, and 8. Now it's going to require a little bit of thinking because I have to see what these numbers have in common. If I look at them this way, it looks like, well, 8 times 2 is 16, 16 times 2 is 32, 32 times 2 is 64. That would be great if I was going up, but it looks like I'm actually counting down. So if going this way was multiplying each number by 2, I bet that if I divide by 2 each time, that's going to give me the next number. And to check that, I can do that math. 64 divided by 2 is 32. 32 divided by 2 is 16. 16 divided by 2 is 8. So I found the operation in this number pattern, and it is dividing by 2. So now to get the next three numbers, I'm going to continue to divide by 2. So 8 divided by 2 we know is 4. So my next number becomes a 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. And now 2 divided by 2 is 1. So now I was able to, just like in the case with the shapes, was able to find the next three numbers in the order by finding which operation I need to use, which was division, and dividing each number by 2. So now I look, what is the number pattern here? gets divided in half or by two each time. Just the same way as in the shapes, it repeated based on the order that I was given in the example. So the main thing to remember when finding any type of pattern in a number pattern, what's the operation going to be? Find the next three steps. Go back and check your work. If it ends up being correct, you know you found the right operation and therefore you have the right steps as well.